<laughs> hey, Bender, you made me laugh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that in you guys' ear. Let me say hello to everybody. Tina, welcome in. Thank you for lurking while you play. I'm guessing Stardew Valley. I think that's what you were in. Hemi, hi. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Joseph, what's up? Ricky, hi. How's it going? And Bender, making me laugh right off the bat. <laughs> All right, guys. Woot, woot. Hubby's doing a woot, woot. So this is where we're at. We left the last episode. Uh, we were leveled. We had started. We went into the next day, uh, which made us into day 91. We were level 40, and we had $27,651. And here is where we are now. We have $36,694. We are store level 42. So let me show you some some stuff. Um, let's pay our bills. Our power bill, well, whatever these bills are, is $145. And our rent is $80. So we have unlocked the next four um, licenses. And I don't want to do anything without you guys seeing so we are going to take a look at what these licenses offer. Uh, this one is $3,500. Um, it appears to be all shelf items. The next one up, which is for level 42, is $5,600, which is cleaning items. Uh, the next one is $5,600. It is... Ham and cheese, ground beef, ham, ham, lasagna, prosciutto, and chicken legs. So all refrigerator items. And then we've got this one, which is also $5,600 at coffee, sodas, and brown sugar. This one I'm not really super enthused about because we don't make much of a profit on soda. So I would like to choose one of these three. Uh, cleaning products are usually a really good profit, but shelf stuff can be too. There's another sandwich bread, there's another rice, pepper, mashed potatoes, another flour, another kind of chips. So I'm not really sure. Hey Joe, welcome in. So if we do another license, we would have to choose one of these. Um, we could expand the store which would be four thousand four hundred dollars for our next upgrade uh the hiring thing it's honestly it's not really a big thing because they're not taking the money out of our pay uh, out of our money amount up in the top right um so basically you're just paying the hiring cost and then if you fire them you know you fire them um but we have all of these guys up to three unlocked um this one to hire another cashier the fourth one which we are nowhere near yet would have to be level 50 for the store and then this the fourth restocker would have to be uh we would have to have 20 racks in our back room which we're not there yet so these we can hire and fire at will storage we have one more storage upgrade that we could do um, which will give us the one last section, and that's 2950 which we might actually have to do. I was so sad earlier. Everything glitched on my game, the restockers, the checkouts, all of it, so I had to start a brand new one. If you, lo if you save and log out and reboot the game, it usually fixes any glitch. You got to level 42. Oh, honey, I would be... I would be done. I keep saying I'm going to walk away and give it some time to fix the glitches. But I have to say that right now it's knocking on wood. Um, it Oh, you tried it five times. I See, that's my fear. 
That's my fear. It really is. It's my fear because there are some glitches. I have been able to fix them though. So, so I don't know. Let's stock and run a day. Uh, how about I put a poll up? Whether we do, um, let me take a look. So we'll call this license one, which is all shelf. We'll do shelf cleaners or fridge how about we do that let's let's do that and you guys can figure it out um while i run through one day we'll put the let me i'm doing it now so we'll do shelf or uh cleaning cleaners or fridge Okay, start the poll. <clears throat> you might have to leave chat and come back in to um, acknowledge that poll. I'm not really sure, but go ahead and make your vote count. And uh, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we need fries. We're kind of, oh, we're, I've been kind of um, really stocking up the back room so that every day we don't have to do every order. Um and it seems to be helping a lot. Um, like our meats are getting pretty well built up. So we need green cheese, mozzarella, and Parmesan Re Reggiano. So let's do cheeses. Green cheese, Parmesan, and is that a big box? No, it's a half box. So we could do a couple of those. All right, orange cheese looks good. Uh, we need medium eggs and large eggs. So, oh, that puts us at 10 items. Um, we need hummus and butter. And hummus okay for one dev early access it is a great game I agree hey Shania welcome in sorry I didn't see you I apologize save file editor I'll tacky are you Okay, you walk her through that because I won't pay attention because I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. You know, start a new save and, and make it great, right? Make it great. Let's get tuna. Because there's only seven left on the shelf. So we'll get one case of that. And let's take a good look at our meats. Uh, this purple box thing, whatever it is, there's only four of. And then we need our sushis. Um, actually, to do this one, I just scroll down because I can't remember for the light. Moussaka. Okay. Um, it's a big box, so we can only get one. And then we need our sushis. So we should be able to do that. Uh, one and one. They're so expensive. We need two, two of the small one. Okay. Got one more spot. Um, let's throw in, um, pork chops. Um, oh, can't bring it up that way. There we go. Veal chops. That's why. Because they're veal chops, not pork chops. All right. And we need chicken. Um, we need four, four, two. So we need three boxes of chicken. One, two, three. Okay. Freezer and fridge stuff is done. Oh, my store is a mess. Hang on. 
<laughs> Clean dish. Guys, um, when I logged out, they must have been carrying stuff to go stock. And they just drop it. So we need to check what they left behind. What is that? A bag of chips. Okay. Milk. He left milk. Okay, good. All right, that's okay. Um, only a couple. Ah, we'll put it in there. All right. And that's toilet paper. We don't want one boxers on the shelf. Um, okay, let's look here. We need two boxes of muscle milk and two potatoes. Level 70 bucks. Ooh. I bet they're a game changer. I bet. Two toilet paper. And we need, have one spot left. What could we use one of? We could use one. Um, don't want to do those individually. Let's do beer. Maybe. We could use one box of vodka. Okay. Uh, let's bring those in. Oof, sorry. Let's get those chucked in the doorway. I can't believe how flippin' addicted I am to this game. My brain tells me all the time if I'm not doing anything, get in and get a day done. Get in and get a day done. <laughs> Although Bluebell was saying the same thing. She she ends up feeling the same way. Just off and on throughout the day, just hop in and do a day. Because a day is not just doing a day. A day is all of this too. Hey, Rachel, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in. Have you ever had a customer stuck in the marriage proposal pose? <gasps> no, I have not. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, you have to share it. Share it on whoever's, somebody's Discord. Mine, Stu's, whatever. Oh, I'd love to see it. All right, let's get these put up. Uh, pork choppies. Yeah, I'm happy that I'm getting stock build up. I do know how much of my money is in the stock. Um, actually, hang on. I don't want to throw. I just want to put. Can I put this one down? I can. Okay. Uh, it only had one in it. And for one item, I clear it out. And usually take it out here. Come on. And if I have a lull in activity, I go try to put it on the shelves while the guys are stocking all the other stuff. I might. So I've been running into an issue with um my people, my customers are starting to say that my lines are getting too backed up. So I think it is time uh, to do, to have another cashier on staff. Um, I will show you that today. 
um, when I do my ring ups. Um, if I lift my head a little bit, uh, I hate these. They're very hard to tell the difference between them. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. It goes here. Um, so I think that might be a thing. I already have the cash register. I just really just don't want to get in that habit. I have my ring ups, so it's not an issue of having or not having my ring ups um, done for upgrading uh, the store. Like he was fastening his shoes. That's adorable. I'll take a look at it. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Potatoes. It is the one thing that has been making me uh, a little nutty is these one item boxes because then I have to stretch out the products that I do have and have them taking up more space than they need. Like for example, um, we'll say the crab. Well, they're full. They're, yeah, but um, whatever, like pizzas, right? So there's a full box and here's a one box. And because of that one box, my stock spills over. Like that box is almost empty. This should be there. And then if I put this here, you can see it only has three in it, which is, which is ridiculous. Oh. Yeah. So I end up with this whole stockpile here of things that I need to deal with myself. So I hope he equals that out a little bit. Oh, I wanted to do that. Um, no, we could put that on the shelf now. It's got three in it. Let's put it on the shelf. All right, all right, sorry, I'm squirreling. Chicken, we. One of these. And then I've also noticed that uh, sometimes when there's only one item missing, uh, the guys don't go stock. So something, uh, something there changed. All right, these are in the queue, so I can't put them away. I can't take them out. They have that um, janky red red square thing, but we could work past it. But that's another reason why I'm thinking I need that second cashier. Um, because that would free me up to be able to look at what people are buying and stuff and know when there's going to be an empty spot so I can get rid of those little one-numbered boxes. I don't know. Makes sense to me. All right. We had to start another shelf. So now we'll do pasta, which, yeah, this needs to come out. So two spaghetti, two elbows, and one penny. Uh, one penny, two spaghetti, two of those. Yay, Lunas! Welcome in. I'm sorry, I'm being rude to chat. Uh, just yeet the boxes into the store, right? Hey, Christy. Welcome in. Who else did I miss? I apologize. I'm getting in my own head. Didn't know the characters can have different standing positions. Well, I guess they, like, squat down and get things off the shelf. But, yeah. So I guess that was, like, forked for that one. <laughs> Hungry for attention. 
Yeah, stock is spilling over. All right, we need a uh, Liberty gibbet. One box of rice. All right, and then we're going to need cereal. Uh, but I'll have to do that again. Let's see what we need cereal. We need these two. So cookies and honey. Okay. Cookies and honey, just one of each. And then I did notice the flour. Uh, we need one of one red. Yeah, because we're at. All right, we have we're at nine. Um. We need Pablo sugar and brown sugar. Ugh. Oh, there, that's all stocked. All right. Pablo. All right, that's 10. And we need brown sugar. Okay, that wall of shelves is done. Now we'll start over here. Um, two boxes of bread, two boxes of peanut butter. Okay, that shelf's done. Now we're on to this one. We need hand soap. See this? There's 12 to a box. This one has three. That one has eight. Um, so we might end up running out of that. Um, hand soap and spray. And then we'll do the drinks. Soap. And spray. Hey, Rabbit. Welcome in. Take part in the vote in the pinned comment, if you wish. Um, trying to decide what license to get next. Um, all right, we've got juices and we need milk. We have spots. Okay, let's do the juice. Uh, turn that off cleaning. One and one. One of them, yeah, they both have seven over two boxes. It's like crazy. Let's get the milk and one of those. Okay, that's done. All right, we need one green soda and we need kegs. Soda, one green soda, and two kegs. Those are good, those are good, and those are good. That's it, we're done. Okay. Let's get that stuff put away, and then we'll make the executive decision by looking at you guys' comments on the post, the, the poll in chat. And we will decide what license we're going to get. And we will add it before we start today and run a day. We do still need to check the prices. Hazmat license. <laughs> Got a couple new subs overnight while I was sleeping, which is fantastic. Thank you. If any of you are here, I appreciate it. Do, do, do. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. Did you guys hear about the horribleness in, I guess it's Russia? Oh, let's see what we can do here. Let's try to compact this. Do we have any open spots? We do. Oh, 
Mm. Nope, it won't. It's not going to let me put it down anywhere. All right, I can't do anything about it for now. I got to run the store and let them use stuff up. Elbows. Um, we'll do this here. Oh, he's going to put elbows out just like that. Got a lot of money tied up in stock. But I think that's how it is. And I do not have... I'm not running into people looking for things and not finding them. Okay, those we're going to deal with right now. This is how I do it. So I come out. When I'm able to put the boxes down, I come out and I do this. So that... That's a whole eight box. This is going to be a single box and take the label off. This single box goes out here. This is a full box, which can go back in the spot. There. Condensed. That one has four. Yeah, I wish he would, he would redo uh, my own. That's one of my only complaints other than the little bugs, which are to be expected. Um, uh, I wish he could try to figure out how to do it so that they grab the box with the least amount of items in it. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know anything about coding. Um, uh, but that's, that's my wish. That's the only thing that I really see as a problem to keeping this stock room under, under control. All right, that's one that we can't do anything with. <clears throat> Yay, Bender, thank you for sharing your channel. <laughs> the concert hall shooting, yeah, ISIS, yep. They claimed responsibility, but no proof. Um, I guess in order for them to claim responsibility, they have to have some sort of proof that they had something to do with it, uh, but they're unable to, uh, do that, I guess. All right. So, Ooh, my washer is in its spin cycle and it sounds like too much stuff's on one side or the other all right this one has three and this one has one there's none on the shelves so we can do this there we go yes i am in the weeds with this game I don't want to screw up and think that I have, like, right now, six is what I usually keep. Um, and now I have seven because of those boxes that I wasn't able to do because of the borkage. All right. Did we get everything from out here? Yes. Okay. Um, let me do this. I'm going to save. And while I do that, uh, let's check the poll. Uh... Yeah, I was thinking today that it'd be realistic. Mining simulator. Drilling, exploding ore veins, dealing with waste rock, making stopes. Great eight field trip to a gold mine. That was fun and interesting to find out what absolute darkness looked like. Yeah? Oh, yeah. How cavern. They turned the lights off for 30 seconds. Hey, Willow, welcome in. Congrats to Willow. Willow, please hit exclamation point little lady in chat uh willow just hit 500 subs woo woo so she's monetized and can have members now and um if you get a chance watch her uh she was playing light your frontier for her 500 celebration uh but youtube was giving her a hard time 
Hey, Greg, welcome in. All right, let's check our poll. Gonna, if any, Actually, I'll give you like 10 seconds or so. If anybody has not voted in the poll, please place your vote now. We're deciding on what license we're going to get next. And I really could use your help um, figuring it out because there's three. There's one that's all refrigerator stuff, which has the added expense of refrigeration. There's one that's all shelf space. And then there's one that's all cleaning items. So I will give you five more seconds for the countdown. And we'll do that. Buy the, buy the products and get them out and we'll run our day. All right, that's it. That was five more seconds. Let's end the poll. Which license? The shelf stable stuff. 37% said that. The other two were a tie at 31%. Very cool. Thank you guys for voting. I appreciate it. And let's do it. So we're going to get the shelf stable items. Thank you for making a... A good decision, because that's what my brain was telling me, too, was to get the the shelf-stable stuff. Um, so here we go. $3,500 out of our pocket. So that should leave us with 30000 Yeah. Very good. Woot, woot. Now, somebody's going to have to remind me to make sure that we do our prices <laughs> so I don't lose money. All right. Let's see what we got. We got chips. Um, I'm going to do two of each. So we have a little bit of back stock. Eight, ten, and then two, and two. Let's get these put in. First, we'll put, first, we're going to make a spot for them in storage, and that shouldn't be an issue um, due to the fact that we don't have labels out on our shelves, but if we can have spots in here for them, kind of double work, but okay with that. Oof. Oof. Yay. Oh, I'm so hooked on this game. <laughs> it's so bad, guys. It's really bad. Between this and I'm playing um, Garden Life Simulator. Yeah, growing my gardens is also another another issue. Okay, so so what if we move? Nope, I want you over there. What if we do this? All of our pastas will be straight across here. I know it's kind of silly, but for my brain, I kind of need like things together. And then we could put the rice here. Okay, pepper really should be with the salt. Um, so we'll move the bread over there. Move the oil to the floor. And put the pepper with the salt. It's okay if we have a blank spot. Blank spots need to be where they make sense. So, um, I'm going to move the chips down here so they're together. Oh, and look at that. Now the flour 
Okay, that works out. Now the flower will be next to the other flower. Bread. Uh-oh. Okay. Um... Soap, shampoo, bread. Okay, breads are next to each other. I, I'm going to be so confused for a little bit. And rice. And pepper. Okay, no, not that bad. It makes sense. All right, potatoes. Uh, flaky potatoes can go in between pasta and rice. I don't know. Makes sense to me. It was close. It was very close. Do our prices. This is the reminder. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbit. Simple conveyor belt. Put box on belt. Here's my thought. I am thinking that um, that maybe, maybe, I could be very wrong. Uh-oh. We have another sugar. All right, wait. I got an idea. Move that over. Move this cereal down. Put the sugar up with the sugars. Look at that. Okay. It's working. And chip. Uh, is it this? It is. Okay. So now we need... Nope, not those. We need this one. Okay. Oops. I got to get that box out of here. All right. Chips. Um, let's do here. Okay. Those guys are going to come out and restock the rest of this. So 627. So 650. Okay. Oops. So we won't have any stock of chips because he's stocking up that secondary. Sh oh, yep. Okay, so there's a little more than a full shelf. Let me get this box gone. Hang on. Where? Where? Right there. All right. Breads. I mean, I guess... I guess here. This needs to come out. Come on. I'm stuck. There we go. There's one bag of chips in that box. And I have not been able to get it off the shelf. Okay, so we did these two. I did not... I did not... Uh, I did not give a price to the bread. I have to go back out and do that. Okay. Gotta put a price on the bread. Ooh, ten bucks. For that fancy flour. Excuse me, sir. Alright, so that should be all. Let's do the bread before I forget. Because you, 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 you all know. I'm gonna forget. Two, one eighty-three. Uh, so just two dollars even, I think. Okay. All right. So the flour is now out. Mashed potatoes. Where are we gonna put mashed potatoes? Here. Sure. Why not? Uh, 519, so 550. Okay. How are we 
doing okay. I think I will go ahead and put an order in um, for backup of this stuff. All right, here's our problem. This aisle's full. Let's um, let's do this. I'm curious. Does this? It does. All right. I'm gonna move the honey over to here. No. Oh, that was close, guys. Oh, shh. All right. I think we get the other box of sugar. Nope, that's not sugar. This one's sugar. Okay. Now we'll be good. Yep. Put it with the sugars. Um, dang it. I'm confusing myself. Oh, I think I was saying, I don't know if I continued my thought, um, that when we expand the storage, I'm hoping there's a garage where um, products can be uh, like brought in for, from the deliveries. Because he wants to add like full on um, delivering things to people and like people having orders. Um, and that stuff getting put in place. Did we do everything? I'm not sure. All right, toilet paper, pasta. We did the mashed potatoes. Oh, nope, we've got a rice to put out. Um, and that's not going to fit with this rice. Hmm. So... For now, and I don't like doing it, but I'm going to put the rice here. Um, because I'm going to have to move something off that shelf. So, 5, 20. I think that's it. But yeah, like just by stocking the shelves with how we would normal... Oh, pepper. And we're not going to be able to do anything with this either. Um, so over here it goes. Okay. 9.02. So 9.30. Actually, hang on. Nice. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Damn it. You know what? Might, yeah. Clean a whole shelf off. Make sure that one's full. It is. Um, that was dumb. I shouldn't have thrown that box away. Dumbass. Dumbassery. All right. put this here. I'm, I'm all right. I can do this. We got, we got this. Now I can take these off with this box. Put the box down. Take that off. Okay. I think, I think that's, that'll work. Salt and pepper are together. A little bit of overflow over here. 
um, that I can't take off, so they'll be stocking that. But once we wear down a box, um, we'll be able to get that fixed. All right. Yep. Go ahead, buddy. I know. He's going to go fill that shelf. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I could have put the empty box back on the shelf, though, I think. Um, can I put this away? I can. Yeah, see, every once in a while, um, I don't know why. Every once in a while, they don't fully stock a shelf. I think we're fire. Hubby says fire the bitches. <laughs> All right. I don't like this area. We're going to have to rework this area, but for now it is working. Should not have empty spaces. I really should put product in that. I need to pay attention though to what is selling well versus what is not selling well. Uh, let's go look at the computer. Check our prices. See what went up, what went down today. And uh, get our day going with our new licenses. Let's take a look. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, what I'm looking for is green and red arrows that show price up or price down. I am not seeing any. There we go. Right here. So, Turco needs to be looked at. Shampoo needs to be looked at. Okay, let's go look. Turco and shampoo. So we have it set at 260. It went up to 240. We can change it. You know what? I'm not going to change it. I'm going to let that go. And shampoo we have down here. 650, 632. $3 profit. We're just going to leave it. Um, let's start our day. But I need to place a quick order for all of our new products. Oops. Where did we stop? Rice. That one. And that is done. There might be other things that we don't have extra stock on in the back, um, but with our amounts that we have out in the store, we really should be fine. As soon as people start picking items off the shelf, these guys start working. So it's got to be just like every one item kicks them off and I don't think that it should because you don't need maybe four of an item missing should make them put that item in their queue um, I don't think it should be every item just my opinion uh, Thirteen oh five. All right, let's let's snake out of here. What do we got? We got chips. Can we yet? No. Um, got no clue. No clue what we've got. A flower. Thank you, sir. What is this? These tiny little purchases. The last day that I played, I literally did not stop at the register. I was not able to walk away from the register at all. It was absolutely crazy. And that was... Um, my 60 customer day. So 
I think um, that I have advanced to the point where I now need to definitely hire a cashier. Um, I could do it right now, but I don't know. That's the fun part of the game. There we go. I don't know. What do we got? Fries. Groovy pizza. Ooh. Buying all the things. Thank you, ma'am. 85. 35. Have a great day. Let's see if our Turco has sold any. It has. Beautiful. Actually getting a chance to walk away, so... I'm going to guess our customer count won't be as big, although... It was, um, like, from 8.30 on. It got so busy. It was crazy. Oops. I just want to hit the lights. Yeah, I think I'm into the lock now. I'm going to be locked in. Unless I go run and hire somebody. Point six. And they get ticked when it's just the the hired cashiers. They're you could tell they're like, dude, dude is slow. Look at that, three kegs, dudes. One ninety four. That's more like it. Oh my lord. I have to get that stuff on the shelves, the new products. 62, 60. So if I go in that back room and hire a cashier, he literally just hops right in my spot. I don't have to do anything special. He will just literally boink. 40, oops, 40, 50. Oh no. Okay. 94 15. Just when I thought I was going to be able to walk away, look at that pepper selling. 156 40. Ah. Run. Uh, be with that person in one moment. At these guys moving their butts and getting more of the new products on the shelves because apparently we're already out of them because they queued right up all right that can't get put away yet uh, one sandwich bread was left flour and okay Go ring this. There's going to be a line. Yep. Forty-nine, fifteen. See our line. Oh, the checkouts are full. It's 
What happens when you come to a store after closing time? Forty-one, twenty-five. Yeah. Definitely need to have a checker. We sushis, dude. Nice. One ninety six twenty five. Thank you very much, sir. Twenty nine. Uh, twenty nine eighty five. It does. It really needs buttons and sewing kits. We need a sewing aisle. Point ninety five. <laughs> Especially since if they pay with credit card, I'm zooming in on it. Seventy five. Thank you, sir, for paying with exact change. I appreciate you. Thirty-two, twenty-five. Whoop! Cleared my, cleared my aisle. Let's see if there's room for one bag of fries. There is. And uh, yeah, I was gonna say I believe I have another box. Let's see. Can I put a chicken in? I can. And can I put? I can. Can I put this one in? No. Where was the spot? There's a happy spot. There it is. All right, let's get these boxes out while he finishes ringing people up. We want their money. Do we have? Nope. Okay, where was the other box? Here it is. Didn't do as great because we bought the license today. Um, so we definitely miss out on uh, really making the profit. Let's see what everybody said while I was running my day. I, I apologize. Secret service guy is having a secret party with his secret co-workers. <laughs> totally not looking on purpose. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Never have exact change. We used I used to all the time. Because he used to deal with cash. Um, I did not get a chance to look at it yet. Um, hang on. Uh, I have to load up Discord. I don't use Discord when I'm streaming. Um, unless I'm streaming with other people. Um, um, let's see. Picks. I'm looking, I'm looking. Bear with me, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely was trying to pick something up from the from the floor there. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, Melted. Oh, I really wish we could have a cappuccino machine. You can't be bothered with the coins. I do everything. Oh, well, most things. Um... Or rounded to the five cent. I was doing like to the quarter. So either 25, 50, 75, or zero, zero. But um, I'm trying to do like 30 cents above market price for most things, except if they're over $10. Um, all right, we're done. Let's see how we did. We had 57 customers. Two people found things expensive. Nothing was not found. Nobody was shortchanged. Our store points, 447 for the day. The income for the day was $4,700, but our supplies cost us a lot. We had upgrade costs, bills, all that. So we didn't make any profit today. We were minus because we did the license. Uh, flour, apple juice, and powdered sugar. Flour. This one. 
784. So we'll do eight. Uh, we'll do 820 even. And I forget what the other two were. Just like that, it's gone. 149. 150 basically is my bills, and $80 is still my um my cost um for running. Uh, let's look. Um, let's look at what the changes were. I, I apple juice and baking powder. Baking powder. I don't have baking powder. Pablo sugar and apple juice. Okay. Pablo sugar is here. It's an expensive sugar, and it went. I had it priced higher, and it went up almost a dollar over a dollar. Um, so we will do just fourteen dollars even on that one. Oh, we don't need. Wow, look at that markup on apple juice. Thirteen seventeen. So. Thirteen forty. I'm just rounding it. Do thirteen forty-five. Okay. All right. They're stocking. While they're stocking. Um. Let's see if I can grab. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I can't grab a different box either. Whatever. They'll just restock it. I tried. All right. We're looking good. Our potatoes, I think, are expensive. They don't sell. Yeah. Let's lower them down to 525. Um, trying to get in the habit of keeping my prices where things are moving. Um, mostly because he's going to introduce expiration dates for items. Um, and I don't want to run into a problem. We did not sell a lot of toilet paper either. Uh, which, you know, could be, could end up being problematic if we have so much stock back here and things aren't moving. Rack is full. But there's only nine, so how is it full? All right, we've got we've got the borkage where everything doesn't want to go into shelves. So we're gonna step outside. We're gonna save. We're gonna quit to the menu, and we're gonna give it a second. <laughs> No, 820, not 819, no, not 899, no. I should make them all something like 1997. <laughs> Just for you, Melted. Just for Melted. Uh, okay, let's get our, let's get our order done. Ugh. Orange juice with the freaking, oh, yes. Yes. Uh, let's just get them all off the shelf so I can go deal. Let's see what we can fit out there. All right, their boxes are sitting on the floor because I logged out of the game, so we have no space. Um, yeah, upgrades are going to be needed, guys. Definitely going to have to do some upgrades. Let's get that. Is this the full box? No. Is this the full box? No. This one is. All right. So five. All right. We'll put the ones that have five up. And we'll keep these out in the middle of the floor so I can trip over them. And that'll push me to want to put them away. All right. These can go here. 
Um, our spray can go up on the shelf. All right. There we go. All right. Let's see. Uh, this shelf. It's full. It's full! Still can't do this. One chip. Uh, tuna. So he was stocking tuna. They probably came in and went, and, let's just do this. I'm not making money on empty shelf space, right? Not making money if shelves are sitting empty. Ola is f filled up. All right. Put the cola back on the shelf where it goes. Um, that's our eggs that we can't fit. Can I fit them now? Yes. Let's see what we can go compact. I'm going to guess that the shelf's going to be full. It's not. And we have one left in the box. Dang it. Oh, is there something in this one? There's something. Ah. You know what? They can fill up that shelf. That's fine. All right, order. Order, order. All right, what do we got going on here? Um, we need fries. Um, we don't need anything else. We need one box of fries. French fries. Okay. What do we need here? Um, orange cheese. Blech. Orange cheese and tuna. And tuna. Oh, I have my caps lock on for some reason. Okay. And we need sushi. All our meats are doing fine. So we need... Flippin' hell. One box of tuna. One box of sushi. Um... one is it one with six this one okay Mario Party Hero thank you for coming in welcome 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 I am very obsessed I apologize if I miss people coming in Oh, I am, I am uh, very, very, very deep in the woods in this game. So I apologize. I don't mean to. Um, be off on a crazy thing, but yeah. What? Uh, yeah, I'm an ignorant store owner. I, I'm in my own world. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Take the label off. All right, let's throw this one away. All right. That's compacted down. And in you go. Okay, so chicken. Chicken's our last thing to order for this area, I believe. Uh, we need two. Yeah, and I think that's going to be good for this area for now. Uh, did we put another thing of tuna in? I think so. Yes, we did. Okay. 
Let's move on around the corner to our muscle milk. We need two and we need one potato. Two and one order of potatoes. Uh, we're definitely good on toilet paper because I have uh, too many shelves. So I, until I can compact that down, I know that we're good. Um, our bleach is still good. Bleach is not moving. So we're going to take a look at that those prices. Uh, all of our pastas could use a box, not the rices. Although... Yeah, see? All right, hang on. Let's do our thing. So this game's early access. Um, uh, so, yeah, there's a couple things that are just a little... Uh, what, what do you want to call it? Uh, off. Um, but the dev is one guy. So we cut him a little slack. And we let him work on the project. And we support him while we go. And I am completely addicted to this game. There is a long list of things that he is has plans to add to the game. Um, as in deliveries and um, being able to buy things wholesale and all kinds of stuff. So, um, all right, we what, where are we at? We finished with potatoes. Okay, so we have one more thing we can add in this order. Um, let's do a box of penny pasta. Uh, pasta? Alright, we'll do one of those. That fills out that order. You can only order ten things at a time. Um, what else did we need? One spaghetti. Uh, two elbows. One spaghetti, two elbows. Uh, we're good with bleach, so we're done up to here. Now we'll hit this. We need black tea and two of each coffee. Uh, black tea and coffee. Okay. That puts us at eight. Uh, we're going to add the two blue flowers, and that'll finish off that shelf. And that's ten products. <coughs> Excuse me. Aw, thanks, Bender. I appreciate that. Oh, wow. That many patches in Beer Factory. Wow. Hydroneer is so much fun. I have a lot of fun in that game. Um, I just need somebody else to play because my brain doesn't wrap around all of the, uh, the connections, I guess I would call it. Um... Connecting the items to make them work. Uh, let's put it up here. I don't know why. I just feel like it. All right, let's get this crap in. And then we'll continue ordering because we've done, I don't know, two or three orders here. Um, and the pile gets pretty big. And then I'm making people sick doing this swinging back and forth. Wait, wait. And we'll check our prices again. Although I think we did our morning prices. We sh I, I'm not going to check them. I think we're fine. Maybe we'll just go up and down the aisles real quick just to re-verify. Because I'm questioning if maybe one of the new items maybe I didn't catch. That's just me being me. Um, but yeah, I'm questioning it. All right, let's get our stuff put away. Muscle milk. 
see I think we have space for four more shelves in here I don't think I actually have to expand the size of the actual short store or we could just keep this coming out um, from there and then have shelves on the back side of that so it's like a big U I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it I think that would probably give me the best space um, but I don't know I'll have to take a look at it uh, we don't need it right now though we have enough go boy go lurch that's lurch and his co-worker is lurched too that's because we're not original because <laughs> you can't tell the difference between them because they have the same uniform on and the same haircut and everything's the same so lurch one and lurch two Uh, I get that. I get that. I get that way. Well, I finally got that way after, like, um, subsistence was, like, my game. And, uh, I played that game over a thousand hours in a year. Um, loved it. Well, maybe a year and a half. Maybe a year and a half. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah. I got to burn out from it. I have to take a break. I can still go back and play and have a blast because I have all my saves. Well, most of my saves still. So I still go back in and, and have fun. But yeah, you got to take a break and come back to it. Um, all right. We got everything from out here. All right. Let's continue. Um, so we need both of the t boxed sugars. And look at this. Both of the boxed sugars we need. And let's compact this box. Got to get that label off. Because <laughs> they come in and they just want to stock it. Yep. Right. All right, so we need chocolate cereal and both of the boxed sugars. Uh, and sugar. Uh, dang it. Yeah, I guess one of each. That price went up. Oh, we checked that already. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that shelf's done. Let's go take a look. We need ketchup and hot sauce, both of those. Um, and our oils. Ketchup. Whoops. Uh, hot sauce. And oils. Oops. Okay, we need one more olive oil. All right, what do we got here? Candy, it's doing all right. Uh, we need honey. Honey and peanut butter. Honey and peanut butter, honey and peanut butter, honey and peanut butter, honey, peanut butter, oh that's cool Joe, that's really cool. Okay, let's finish up this order. Um, okay, we need uh, Covitos.
Covitos, and then we'll do drinks. Uh, chips. These ones. Now let's do drinks. Uh, jeez, oh man. Four. Oh, you know what? Uh, soda. And everything else looks good. The numbers. And we'll get the dark blue label water. Dark blue label. We have one more thing that we could put in. Um, I'm going to say a bottle of vodka, a, a case of vodka. Ugh. No, we'll do a case of beer. This one. That fills out that 10. Hello, Amelia. <laughs> Thank you. Whoever did that. Oh, you got spammed. Your Tamagotchi has a big X on it. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about why that would happen. Um, but don't use all caps. That Streamlabs is going to kick you out. Uh, it's considered extremely rude in chat. But other than that, I don't know if anybody can offer you a solution to that. I don't know anything about it. So I apologize. But welcome in. Um, I think we're good. Was I going to order a vodka? I think I was. I didn't think, I don't think I put that in there. All right, that's good. We're done. We're done ordering. We'll run another day. Hey, Lewis. How are you? Thank you for fixing that. I don't I don't know how to fix that as an issue. Try googling it. Or binging it or try putting it in your search engine. Should come up with something. Boop, boop, boo. Whoa. Doing good, doing good. Addicted to a crazy game. Makes absolutely no sense why anybody would want to do this job, except the only thing I can figure is that I have to equate it to games like uh, Unpacking or um, like the organizing games. Uh, I, I just can't, for the life of me, figure out what I'm doing that makes me want to play this game. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, I know I have another case. It's going to be that one. He already stole the damn thing. It's very hard to stock when, when they're not, um, like, paused or something. Because they take things as quickly as you put them into spots. 
And then you're like, well, wait, I have to leave them a spot to put things back. And sometimes you can't. I know there was a one item box up there. Can I get... We'll do that. Hot sauce. Anybody a huge hot sauce fan? Like one of those people that like um, just puts it on absolutely everything. Okay, yeah, we can't move those. Can I move this one? I can. Um, can I move this one? I can. What's in here? This is full. Okay, so we want put the two full boxes over there. We'll leave a half box out in case for some reason people decide they want to buy a ton of it. Um, guys will be able to keep it restocked. Okay. Uh, yep, that one can't get put away. Oil. I am going to keep forgetting that I put it on the floor. It's, it's going to happen. I can't avoid it. Beer. Bender ready for his shift. I got the beer. Got the beer and I got the hot sauce. Hey, Boost. How you doing? No, no thank you, Hemi. You do this job every week, four nights a week. Ugh. And you play it. So that really says a lot about the game. Yep, you can work for beer. In my store, you can work for beer. <laughs> All right, so let's... <laughs> I'll be like that one too. Yep, my store, you can work for beer. There's no rules. We make our rules. All right, I didn't pay. Oh, I did pay the bills today. Okay. Um, all right, so today we should get, when we run the store, we should honestly get a better picture of what our profit margins will be like. Oh, we should get some salmon. We should get some salmon. There's only four left. Not that it sells like hotcakes, but I don't like running out if I don't have to. There's no reason for it. We're just going to order just the salmon, get it on the shelf, and get going. If people want to buy it, I want them to be able to buy it, right? Ah, got to clean up my store. Hang on. Not that I hear anybody passing judgment. That's good. Five dollar. That's good. Eight fifty. This doesn't make sense to me. That the the plain pizza costs more. Well, that is mafia pizza. That's probably what it is. That's probably it, right? Ten dollar. Chicken's a little high priced. I think I'm gonna lower it down to nine seventy five. Um I'm still making almost $4 profit on it. That's a little high. Let's make it $340. Not making money if products aren't moving. That's $0.30 cents above. $390. That's $0.30 cents above. About. Uh, that's about $0.30. Cents. This is more because it's above $10. I don't know what my number really is, but... It's at least a dollar over for those items. Those sodas, I don't really care. Um, that's 20 cents above. That's 20 cents above. So this one probably is too. Yep. Okay. 225 for yogurt. I still think that that's expensive. I'm going to lower it down to 210. 
no good if it doesn't move. Um, butter's fine. Cheese. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Uh, 60 to 85. It's a quarter over. And then this one, 675. It's a quarter over. $3 is a quarter over. Middle of the road, 20 cents over, about. Uh, that's a little much. Let's, uh, 375 to 590. About 20 cents. We want them moving. We don't want them sitting. You need to sign for your register exact change only. <laughs> Cashier has been drinking. That's awesome. It needs something. It needs something. I agree. It needs some kind of a trolley or something. Never go against the pizza family. I am not a shrink or a tech. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay, so we have this. This is actually like twenty-one dollars because it's twenty ninety-nine. So I make it twenty-one plus seventy-five. So it's a six dollar profit, but that's not much on something that's that size, I guess. So this is twenty three eighty four and I made it twenty four seventy five. So the prices aren't up there. This is ten dollar ten dollars and eight cents and I made it ten fifty. Uh, in case anybody wants to get into the weeds, I might not be doing exactly right, but I mean, my profits at seven dollar, almost seven dollars for anything that I do sell, so I'm okay with it. Like this is three fifty seven, and I set it for four dollars. It's 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 acceptable. Um, some things just don't move. Um, see, I don't want to bring that down, but I want it to sell, so. Uh, four three eighty nine. We'll do uh four twenty. <laughs> Always got to be a product in the store. <laughs> Hubby's like lady. Uh, six thirty to six fifty. That's fine. Three dollar profit. Two sixty six to two eighty five is a dollar ninety. That's fine. I'm not worried. Uh. This doesn't have much of a profit margin because if you make it too much more than what that is, it just it just doesn't sell. Three fifty, that's fine. Twenty one dollars, so that was twenty forty one is the market price. I pay thirteen dollars. I sell it for twenty one. That's almost an eight dollar profit. It's a lot. All right. Um, two fifty, that's fine. 375 is a little much. Let's knock that down. See if we sell more. Still making $2 profit on a candy bar. Um, that's that's fine. That price changes a lot. A lot, a lot. All right, peanut butter 7 bucks. Ketchup 345. That price must have dropped and I must have missed it at some point. Mayonnaise, ten bucks. That's fine. Three twenty-five. That's fine. Six fifty is fine. Five seventy-five. That's fine. Five dollars a quarter over. That's fine. Uh, a little less than a quarter over. Fine. <sighs> that's good. Uh, yep, that's good. That's good. Mashed potatoes. Not much of a profit here. So it's five twenty is the market price. So it's only a two dollar profit. So yeah. I'm leaving it. Nine thirty, that's getting left. Eleven seventy five, that's almost an eight dollar profit on muscle milk. Um, this seems ex excessive, so maybe eleven twenty five. It's like fifty cent prof, you know, over. That's good. Um, 
that's good. That's fine. Uh, yep, that's fine. Oops, forgot this side of the aisle. 9.30 is fine. Okay, we're moving right along. Apologize for this. This is this is what where you get screwed though, because if your prices are really out of whack, you just don't sell the product. So I just I try like every I'm to the point now where it's like every three days I go through and check all the prices, not just the ones that they alert me to as being as having changed. Um, good. 784 to 820. That's good. Um, that's good. It's only 25 cents above market price, so that's fine. Uh, 597 to 630 is great. 462 to 490 is great. The vodka. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. 1183 to 13, that's fine. $28 even, that's fine. $6 profit on that. And these are, okay. All right, we're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. And what we'll do is we'll consider, because um, I'm just going to run the register and get the experience points. Um, we'll consider next time hiring up... Um, Hiring up a, a ringer full-time. But I don't want to only play the game to stock. That's the problem, is I want to play the game game. You know? It will change it a lot. Welcome in, guys. How's your day going? Here we go. Hey, Gamer Crest. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Oil, huh? 980. Have a great day. Oh, he took a pizza. Gotta go. I gotta go. Ha 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 ha. Okay. I want this, like, yep, in the middle of the floor. It's, it's morning. Did anybody buy eggs? They did. <laughs> okay, we got one more box. Chips. Anybody buy snackage for later tonight? They're a big game on. Probably not. No, oh, come on. Buy the blue. Come on, lady. Help me out here. Thank you. 9670. Beautiful. I, I'm, I'm right here. Listen. Listen. He's listening. <laughs> Behave. Thank you for almost exact change, sir. Shampoo. Dude, you're bald. And you're charging it. All right. 56, 25. I can't use the keypad yet. I tried to get the app for being able to do my things from OBS on my phone. Um, but I could only find, the only one I could find was it's for an iPhone. And I don't have iPhone. I'm Android only. And only ever will be Android.
So, unless I'm missing something, I don't get that. I can't do it. So, i got to figure something else out. But I've also, it's now a habit. Oh, come on. Somebody buy spaghetti. I have one left. Thank you, sir, for buying a spaghetti. Hello, ma'am. Usually milk goes with cereal, but okay. Thank you very much for your patronage. How are we doing? Doing okay. Don't really need to do anything. Guys are working hard. They're keeping up. Ma'am, what'd you buy? Pepper? I got to come running all the way back because you bought one pepper mill. <laughs> got the peanut gallery in here today. Making all kinds of comments behind me. About my comments. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir, for the exact change. Your patronage is appreciated. Dang it. That's the one. One, nine, seven. Sorry, sir. I need light. Oh, a loaf of bread. Charge it. Bald people have hair other places. <laughs> and they use shampoo. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to leave that go. One forty eight point seven five. See this is when the story gets crazy. Once the lights go on, it's like it's a homing signal. I'm not seeing anybody complain yet, but I haven't let the line build up really either. Maybe we're just not gonna get as many people today. Who knows? One, two, three, three, five. He likes the price of the shampoo. Thank you, sir. Uh, nineteen fifty. I need more lights. It's not. It's very dim. But I really don't want my bills to go up too much more. Um. If we're going to be do, trying to do expansions and whatnot, um, I want to level out first. I mean, our, our money level's great. We did all those upgrades and we're back up to 33. So the store's running well. Finances are staying in check. But again, grinding off screen um, in between episodes so that we can uh, get our money and do things in the episodes. Because all I'm doing when I play off screen is literally running days, stocking shelves, running days, stocking shelves. And that... I know that for you guys, that also gets monotonous. So that's why I went and started doing that off screen for you guys. Oh, 118.45. Always with the chesty close ups, right? Always. They got to put their money right there. Eighty, eighty-five. Thank you, sir. Uh, there we go. Thank you, sir. 
104.25. Have a great day. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Come back and see us sometime soon. Okay, another day done. Fantastic. We're back up at 35,000. Let's see how our day went. Yeah. You can do use a number pad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is I can't um, because my shortcut keys for OBS usage are all my number pad. Yeah. So I would have to completely re-figure out what, what keys I want to use for OBS shortcuts. Um, 55 customers today. Yeah, it would be pants. Uh, points today earned were 367. Uh, our income today was 4,280. Our supplies cost us 2145 So we had a total profit today of 2000 So, yeah, the ha not having that upgrade cost, you really get a kick in the ass for like the next two or three days um, in-game. Is the Elgato Stream Deck on Throne? Uh, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, please, don't, don't do anything crazy. Please don't. It is crowdfunded. Um, so if anybody is interested in helping out the channel, um, that it, it's only there's only two games really that I run into a problem by using the numpad. Um, it's subsistence and this game. Um, so it's only two games. It's not a constant thing. But if you want to donate towards um, a stream deck, which would help out a lot because that I could put all my OBS keys onto that. Uh, you can contribute um, on my throne thing. Um, it should still be looking at it's in chat. There's a couple other cute little things if you wanted to cheer me up or whatever. There's little things in there because um, I can't take donations and a couple people have asked. Um, Oh, you use the numb hat. I am left-handed too, but um, so when I was growing up, the thing for left-hand people um, was to try to force them to assimilate and be able to function right-handed. So for most things, like my mouse is on my right side. I use my right hand um, for all mouse, and I use the W A S D. Um, just like anybody else, um, by being forced to do, you know, mainstream things. Got yelled at a lot, got my, got my, um, grew up in Philly school district, so, yeah, I was, I was told that that's a choice. <laughs> Left-handed versus right-handed is a choice. I actually started writing with my right hand and at six years old I fell out a third story bedroom window and landed on my right wrist landed on the emblem of my father's car in the driveway below and all of the bones in my arm up to my shoulder came out of my skin <laughs> and so it was a lot of recovery with the right arm um, and being six years old, I was in first grade. All I wanted to do was write because it was like the new thing that we had been learning in school. So um, yeah, they started, they kind of forced us to, forced me to start writing with my left hand and I went along with it because it was like cool, you know, but um, yeah. Okay. 12.03, so 12. Um, we're going to go 1250 for that. I don't care. Um, 
yeah, so I use regular stuff, but if anybody wanted to make any kind of a donation or send me something cute, there's some cute little candy stuff on there. There's some gnomes to add to my PC room collection. Um, there's little things like that. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how to add other things because uh, it, it, it gets sent from Amazon, uh, but thrown as the middleman um, so that people don't, you know, know your address because if you do an Amazon wish list, people see your address. And I don't have a P.O. box and I'm not going to spend the money to get a P.O. box here. They're very expensive because they only have so many. Um, so, yeah, so I did the throne thing. If you so feel like you want to take a look at it, feel free to. Um, by no means do you need to feel obligated, but some people like to support stuff and have asked. So I, I did that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find the link to share other items that are not thing. Those things are all, um, have already been used in the app. Throne's pretty cool. Th I like Throne a lot. So, um, but I think that right now we're at 37,000. Should we, should we do... I don't know. I don't know if I should do another upgrade. What what do we got here? Can we put This is apple juice. Okay. Okay, that's good. This is here. There we go. Um I don't know. I don't know what, if we should keep going here. I think probably it would be smart to just keep going and maybe get another day under our belts. Or should we leave it here and I should grind a little bit uh, to get things up to snuff? Ugh. All right, let's see if I can dump these four in there. I think there is room. There is. Great. There's 12. There's 24. Okay, that's good. Um, should be able to put this up there. Nope. All right. Why can't we? Um, that one has six in it. This one also has six So we got up on the shelf a three and a six. Let's see if we can force these guys to stock this. Let's get this in the trash. Oh, nope, not yet. All right, let's just do it ourselves. When is my birthday? My birthday is in August, the end of August. August 25th. All right, now, is this going to be a full box? It is. Beautiful. Uh, get that off. Twenty fifth of August, full on Virgo. All right, this is. Oh, we could put this one here. Good, one box empty. What do we have out here? Oh, we have the extra register, so I could have two employees, and then I still have another register for myself. Um, and we have two. Oh no, we have one shelf. And one refrigerator. And then we have a shelf here. So we definitely could do an expansion. Should we buy the expansion? August 7th. Very awesome. Let's, 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 let's look at this. 
growth. 4,400. To make the supermarket bigger. <sighs> uh, day before the solar eclipse, April 7th. I ordered it for the wrong day. You ordered what? Um, um, doing it. Done. Blech. I did it. Let's go look at our expanded area. Because I have to get this uh, freezer section under control, and this will allow us to move our, I think, to move our shelves back. Let's do this. Because those guys have to stock. And... Okay, so we know that the next expansion is going to be there. So, what if we make that whole double section into fridges and freezers and then have the short aisles across the front here because that'll let us put another cashier over here, too. Just have the cashiers at the front. And then freezer, fridge section, and across the center, uh, you know, kind of like a real... No, 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 rabbit. Shh. Do not. Do not strap yourself. That is, that is, that is not the purpose of that. I, I please, no, no, no. Don't even, don't think, don't, no. That's, that's not the idea there. At all, please. No. Uh-uh. I'll take it right down. <laughs> I will. I question doing it. Um... For those reasons. And I figured I'd give it a shot, but... Uh-uh. We're all... Our, the economy is absolutely horrendous. Don't... Don't... So this is my idea. Is basically... Oh. He's stocking while it's in my hand. This is my idea. Fridges around the outskirts, and then I'll just put the freezers back to back to back down the center. I think that'll work. What do you guys think? All right, so we did the drinks. Uh, I'm going to move this for now. The booze. Because this is like the odd area. It's going to be, so we'll have the booze all the way off to the side. I'm trying to get it to line up right. I think I have to change my DPI when I do this, and I haven't been doing it. Okay. We're going to move that meat out of there. I don't like the meat in there. Um, let's get this out of here. I don't know how I ended up doing this. Because I did not plan on rearranging the store on stream. Well, that's why I, that's why I did check them off as... Uh, crowdfunding because you can if you so felt like it you could do five dollars towards it or whatever like you don't don't but don't take yeah you know what I'm saying all right so how is this corner gonna work I think
I don't think I want to run into... Come on. There. All right, do we have any more fridges? We do. We have one, two, two more. Um, let's get these. We could get these um, boxed um, meals out of the down there, out of the meats, and we can move these two types of meats over there because then that's all just raw meats and raw eggs. Okay, that kind of works. And last fridge. Last stocked fridge for, for right now, I mean. Um, and this one can go here, I guess. All right, that's not bad. That works actually better than I thought it was going to. Okay, now freezers. So, I'm thinking, oh, nope, this way. Got to remember how many that I have to put here. Dang it. Um... Yeah. I hope I'm not copying anybody. I can't remember where people's stuff was. And I'm trying not to be a copycat from somebody else's stream. So I apologize if I am. Um, ice cream, pizza, and fries. Uh... Yeah. Pizza and fries we'll put right next to each other. Did Blue put her stuff back here? Oh, that box is in my way. Uh, well, we all try to be original, I guess, maybe. Uh, pizza. Oh, I gotta move that. Oh, I should put them all funky catty corner. That would be kind of cool. I don't have the space for that. Okay, and we should have room for the one more, because we still can get that those um, potato shelf out of there. Good, and then we still have room for more fridges on both sides. Nice, this actually is working out pretty well. One more freezer. All right, boom. All right, this is a little close, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so now my problem is going to be scatterbrain in full effect. Um, so we got booze. So you, sir, are going to come about there. Yeah, that's right, because you have the mirrored register. So you can actually be right up against the wall. Okay. I like this register here. Um... Like that. Might have to move it up towards the window a little bit when we get our shelves all in place. Um, yeah. 
I think we'll be able to space things out a little bit nicer, though. So we'll see. Oops. Can I put that there? I can. All right. So freezer section, fridge section. All right. Um... Yeah, it is. I got to fix it. Oh, does she have shelves? Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to save real quick. Just because... Because... I think... Okay. Definitely this needs to be up more. Now, I have seen people uh, do this way. But I think it borks out on people because they um, run into issues with the lines. Like the line's supposed to move around across this way. Um, so I'm not sure. We'll have to see how it runs. Okay. So the booze corner... Oh, I got an idea. What if we end up and take the yogurt and the butter out of this? We could put it over there. And we take this and we put the beers in it and move it over there. Good idea. Good idea, lady. Uh, now I'm going to pat my own back. Um, this way. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, we're not going to have enough. Okay, I got to take everything off the shelf so they don't start running. Okay, all the yogurts off the shelf. So, Fragan. I wish I knew what that meant. Does it mean yogurt? Okay. Hang on. Get that label off. Before I keep screwing around. Just in case. Good. Put that down. Get that label off. This can go back in the stock room. All right. Uh, that's completely full. And that's completely full. So. All right. Let's fill this up. And. Because if worse comes to worse and something miscounts or something, I can at least know that I got some of the shelves cleared. That's my philosophy for hurrying up and taking the label off. Okay. So that freezer's empty now. So that and that can go back up there. Beautiful. Now we can pull this out. Um, honestly, right there, because I'm sure there's going to be more alcoholic products, and we could either have a shelf here for it. <laughs> Even if I don't have things on the shelf, I like to have the shelves in place, because it makes my mind understand what what is going on <laughs> so even if we don't use it just yet there okay 
Plus, if things have to be stretched out in a different way because of the shelves, because moving, um, because of moving the shelves, at least it'll make sense. Right? Yeah. Right? Because the net, one of our next licenses, whichever one we choose, is going to end up being um, a cleaning products one. So we're definitely going to need more space on this aisle. And then we have toilet paper. And what else could go with cleaning products right now nothing really so we're going to leave that section of shelving open yeah we're going to leave that empty we could put one of our shelves um just so that they're not sitting outside because that's been bothering me um like is one day am i going to come into the game and they're going to just be gone there all right, so we have room for the next license. Planning, planning, planning. Although we do need to make this aisle. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't, it kind of leaves a weird space. with the wall there. Come on. There. See? But we'll have fridges there, so they will be kind of closed off, I think. Let's get these out of the way here. Let me put a, I'm, I'm going to move a fridge there for a second and just see if it looks super bad because we will end up having fridges all the way Is it going to bother me too much? That's not bad. That's not bad. I could deal with that. Uh, can you remove the tag off the shelf even if the yogurt box is on it? No. Nope. Everything has to be... Um, oh, you mean like here? So, yeah, no. If there's if the products on there you can't take it off and then as soon as you put it on but if there's nothing there you get the zero is if, if that if that's what you mean I like I like this fridge section I like that there Um. Maybe I should just do the whole drink section like that and then like milk prod. I don't know. But now I feel like I need it to be there because and all the freezers need to be moved down just a little bit like let's see maybe like by half or so because it's very squishy down the other side come on that's gonna make it feel why would I need to move it all the way wait what's going on here I think it was because I was standing too close. So it wasn't clipping in right. Come on. There we go. Boop, boop, boo. There we go. Come on, come on.
It's a little bit of a waste of floor space, but I don't care. It feels better walking around, and we still have room for, you know, a few more fridges. I think that's good. I like that a lot. It feels good around each side. Yep. Yep. Non-claustrophobic. This area drives me nuts. This. That's better. I don't like having this area cut off at all. Ah, so now our decision would be... I like, um, I like the shelves going this way because I think that it gives more curb appeal than just seeing shel a shelf straight across that way. But that's just my opinion. Um, all right, so we've got booze. We've got cleaning. Uh... I think everything would kind of be okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not staying there. I just I just moved it out of the way for right now while I'm rearranging everything. Um I think leaning supplies this one I don't want there. This one I don't want there. I think the next thing I want in line is these. Come on. Close, but not. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And so flowers and sugars, I think, is what I would like to do. Come on. They should totally be able to line up, and it's not. It's the best I could get it. Okay. So flour and sugar. And pasta. Come on. All right, I gotta shake my hand. Okay, here we go. Whatever. There we go. Okay, so pasta and oils. I should look at the license that we're that we will most likely be getting next and see what's actually on that license because that would help the determination of all this. Um, coffee. But it is not a big thing to move stuff. Yeah, we'll put this right here. There. Reikis. Okay. And then cereal. And 
bread and chips. Okay. And potatoes. And condiments. Okay. And then we have candy. So, standing in the way, and then it pulls too close to me. There. Let's get this one out of the area. And candy is going to be the center point here, even though I don't like a shelf here. I like that there. It actually works. Let's take a look. I got to get that salt off that shelf so I can put that shelf away. Uh, there we go. I won't be able to get it all, but um, maybe because they actually really stocked it. Dang it. Um... Um, what else can I do? These are all full. Um, you know what? I don't really... It's not the point of the salt itself. It's the point of I just want the shelf cleared. Does that make sense? Alright. These guys are going to like right away come running. To stock that shelf so let's um, put it away uh, and I'm gonna put it yeah we'll put it in the corner here again where it was previously he's like dude wait I thought you wanted me to put something away what's going on here and I'm gonna be so confused but that's all right at least our rice made it to be with... The, our new rice is now with the pastas. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Like the pastas... Go across this way instead of in a chunk that way. But we'll see. Let's take a look at our store. So booze and potential booze in the future. Cleaning products. Don't pay attention to the salt and then this is like uh baking supplies maybe plus pasta and then this is uh, all kinds of things that you need for your morning <laughs> or carb load carb load express should move the shelves with all the stuff in there it's not good for your back <laughs> thanks for being here thanks you thank you you. I don't know why I said thanks you. And then our candy. I think this is a good, a well-established upgrades, I feel. You know. Uh, we just need to get our meats into just a meat fridge. So we want to, I want to move those somewhere other than where they are. Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't really need all those shelves of the Parmesan Reget Reggiano. Let's see. We have a box that has one. So let's act fast. Of course. Just fill it right back up. Because I need to wait until more of it sells off. Ah! Okay. Ah! Alright, we're not dealing with that today. But that's what we'll potentially do. 
We'll have the cheesy things there. One of these is like a lasagna or something. Can I, can I read it? No, I can read it in here though. Let's see. What is this? This is, this is potatoes au gratin. So this is a cheesy dish. So we could put these, wait, what's this one? What is moussaka? Is it like lasagna? So either one of those could go in the cheese fridge, right? I feel like. And then that will have room for our meat. So we have two types of meat that are going to take two shelves. So that would be perfect. Then all of our raw meat is in the same one. Eggplant lasagna. It's Greek. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's the plan is I'll work towards that. We have more, we have, uh, outside we have a fridge, so absolutely we could do that back here. I'm not going to hook it up yet because I don't, I don't have product that needs to go into that, um, but yeah, I think we're store level 43, um, we did excellent. I feel like we did really good this episode. Um, let's pay our bills so they're paid. Uh, we we got our next section. We also got uh, the new the license that we got. The next license that's on here is for the cleaning products. So that's definitely good. The one after that is for food, all kinds of refrigerator or freezer foods. Uh, the one after that is coffee, soda, and light brown sugar. So, um, in our next episode, I'm going to run a couple days off stream. Uh, our next episode, we'll definitely get this cleaning one. We might, if I can get the money up enough, we'll do two licenses in one day. I don't know if that's going to be a stretch, but we'll start out like we started this episode We'll do one license. You guys will, I'll let you guys pick again while I run a day. We'll pick a license. We'll run it for a day or two, see how the store's working, and see if maybe we could pull off whichever one you guys didn't pick. But for now, I'm going to leave this here. I want to thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget to drop that like. It does help YouTube see that people are liking the content and send it out to more people. Um, I appreciate you all. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, thank you. As always, thank you. Thank you for being here and turning up all the time and, and uh, being my gaming friends. I appreciate you all. Bye for now.